Some people here at Walt Disney World might start receiving a permanent ban from the Disney parks. The Daz Pass here at Walt Disney World and over at Disneyland is about to change and well, some people are happy about it while others aren't. Disneyland is making sweeping changes to the way it serves guests with disabilities. People were taking advantage of it to get ahead in line. These changes to the disability program there. There's a massive amount of abuse. Will be banned from entering the resort. Well, the DAS Pass revamp comes with the goal to manage the misuse of the line skipping program and ensuring that guests it's intended for can actually use it. It's really no secret, over the years, many people have been misusing the program to try and skip the lines here at Walt Disney World for free. Disney World reported that DAS use has more than tripled over the last five years. This is obviously a major problem here at Walt Disney World. Unfortunately, many people who have been misusing this service have ruined it for those who do need it. The popularity for this service has grown significantly since DAS is intended to accommodate a very small percentage of guests who have developmental disabilities. This large growth has certainly complicated the process and has increased wait times for those who need it. For that reason, Disney is changing the process to hopefully simplify the registration process and save guests time. Now this new system Disney is going to be launching in May aims to ensure that DAS is used fairly and only by those who truly need it, improving the park experience for all guests. Now if you're unfamiliar with DAS, it basically works by providing those enrolled in the program a return time for attractions, eliminating the need for those guests and their parties to wait in the standby queue. The return time typically equals the current wait time for the attraction, so guests can wait elsewhere and return to the attraction via the lightning lane and the assigned lane. With these new changes, Disney has now drastically narrowed the scope of eligibility and now says that DAS is for guests with developmental disabilities like autism or similar. Disney plans to introduce the new DAS system on May 20th of this year at Walt Disney World and Disney's in teaming with Inspired Health Alliance to help cast members determine eligibility. And here's how it's going to work. Beginning on May 20th, two days or 30 days before your Walt Disney World trip, you're going to call a number and you're going to get interviewed with a cast member to help determine if you are going to receive a DAS pass here at the Disney parks. Essentially, these are virtual chats. No longer are you gonna be able to show up to guest relations at any park and have an interview with a guest relations cast member to determine if you have the ability to get a DAS Pass. Only yourself and three people can use the DAS Pass. It's a de decrease from about, I believe, it's six members total. But once you do receive the DAS Pass, it's good for 120 days instead of it being good for 60 days. So if you have an annual pass, you're gonna have to do a virtual chat for three times every single year. And now the kicker is if you are caught lying during this entire process, you will receive a lifetime ban from the Disney parks. I don't know, what do you guys think about the change of the DAS Pass? I'm just throwing it out there, educating you guys on the change that's gonna be happening here at May 20th. But um, just a few bad apples obviously have ruined it for everybody who might possibly need a DAS Pass. With all of that, as you can see, we are here at Hollywood Studios and we have picked a great night to be at Hollywood Studios as it appears to be pretty darn empty. We're also gonna be dining at Mama Melrose's. They actually have a brand spanking new menu. One of the, I wouldn't say the best dining opportunities here at Walt Disney World. It's kind of got a lower reputation, but so that's kind of nice that they actually have changed the menu. We're gonna be trying that out here tonight. Whoa. Did you guys hear that? I think that horn is, is broke again. That's not good. But yeah, I do agree those who uh, are caught misusing the DAS Pass who don't need it, for many, whatever reasons they are using it, obviously to skip the lines or whatever, they deserve a lifetime ban. They really do. I mean, these changes are gonna affect a lot of people who essentially need it. I feel like guest relations, or sorry, the, the virtual chat will be a little bit lenient. It's not just gonna be as strict as they had had it in writing. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just kinda here in reporting how Disney's changing this this year. Pretty quick too, it's a pretty quick turnaround. It's gonna lower obviously the amount of people who are gonna be going in the lightning lane who shouldn't be. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, rare character sighting. Geppetto and Pinocchio. Wandering here at Hollywood Studios. That's cool. 
We don't have dinner for another two hours. Here's a look at the park itself. Tower says a 20 minute wait. I'm gonna head on over there. Obviously, Slinky's pretty high. This is actually a little bit higher of wait times than I saw coming on in, so. I guess a lot of people are coming on in the parks right now, but let's go on Tower of Terry, might as well. I also forgot to say I'm wearing my new shoes that my sister got me for my birthday. I feel like I've talked about it in my vlogs a lot recently, but Hollywood Studios sort of kind of reminding me of Fallout in a way on Amazon. I also have re-downloaded Fallout and started playing it. It's the old vibes. I think there's some people already lining up for a Fantasmic already. Unless they're enjoying the shade. Sure enough, don't know if you guys can read it, but it still says 20 minutes. I think we're gonna walk on Tower Tear here at 6.30. Love that. I didn't expect the line to be at the front. This is probably going to take about 20 minutes. This really isn't that bad. I'm actually really surprised. Guess a lot of people aren't here at Disney at the moment, which is good for us. Benches and some books. Okay. I think it's in a way to find you. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that. We're moving it pretty fast here, but I think what happened was we just got like a sore, a flood of people using the lightning lane. Let's see how long we've been waiting here for. Over 25 minutes, so not really accurate, and I don't think they increased the wait time at all. Yeah, it's still posted a, a 20 at the moment. Oh, no, just kidding. It actually went up to 40. So they did adjust it a little bit. It's a nice wait, though. I'll take it. Almost there. We just got cut off. I think the ride just went down. Looks like the issue is they're only running two elevators right now at the moment. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hotel on the dark side. Wow. And that, ladies and gents, is how a 20 minute, a possible walk on, turns into a 50 minute wait. My gut told me to get out of line, but I decided to wait to kind of test it out. If you don't believe me, there, there's the current wait time as we now officially end the wait time. And of course, now the standby line correlates that 60 minutes. Sometimes you get unlucky like that, and that was one of those unlucky scenarios. Well, now we have an hour until dinner. And you know what? This kind of reminds me of a California sunset. We actually have some huge news regarding Disneyland Forward. Disney basically just got approved for Disneyland Forward. It's got like one more stage. I believe it's going to be like on May 7th. It's like the final council vote for them to be able to expand. And them, I mean Disney, it's pretty much a sure bet. And then after like, I believe May 7th, they have to wait 30 days for that to actually go on through and they can begin the process of Disneyland forward. Which is why I've been saying D23 this year is going to be a big one. By the way, you can actually mail. Oh, I thought you could. Oh, they locked this up? You can't do that anymore? I know you can do it on Main Street. I thought you were able to do it here too, but usually you can mail something at, here at Hollywood Studios. I guess you can't do that feature anymore, but there's a binky. Someone lost the binky. Um, what? The Rise of the Resistance is 25 minutes? I feel the last Two times we've been here, we've been on rise, haven't we? But I gotta go see a 25 minute wait, you never see that. It can't be, right? I mean, tower was a posted 20, we ended up pretty much waiting 50. I sort of kind of believe it because I feel like we're seeing the fallout of the spring breakers and we're having that last lull until the summer crowds. Or Genie Plus is straight up lying to us, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's 
actually going to be a walk-on, which is odd. Not a lot of people going to the new hydraulics, but we're going to be heading that way tonight for Mama Melrose's in the Muppets area. T-minus less than an hour. So hopefully this wait time is correct. I mean, usually we do see a dip in the wait time here for Rise as the night goes on. That's just kind of usually how it is, but you never really see it 25. That's when you know it's a lull time, at least in my experience. I think we're gonna have a walk on here. Now we've done this before, but I really wasn't expecting to see it this time of the year. I'll take it. Let's see how long we wait. It's definitely gonna be shorter than Tower Terror. That is for sure. Time starts now. And did I tell you that it's uh, also like a perfect night out? We've got 70s. It's like we're in California after all. It's beautiful, y'all. I wish you could be here. Comment down below the current temperature of where you guys are. Comment down where you are and what the temperature is. Let's see who can win with the lowest or the highest, I guess. <laughs> Well, we stopped here. I honestly thought we were gonna keep on walking. Stand clear, deck doors opening now. All right, we are, we are doing so good. It's only taking 20 minutes to get through the queue. Stay strong. Come on, SOT on one, four, one, nine. I'm here we go, it took 30 minutes to get on. What a steal. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. <laughs> Did we see no securely fastened? Keep hands, arms, feet and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Let's go! <laughs> it's a prisoner transfer. It's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? I think so. Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turbo Very nice. The probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the doors are the prison. Don't stop! Oh my gosh, they have horrible aim. I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Stop! The prisoners have escaped! How brave! But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run! Kylo never works. You want to tell me the location of the secret base, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. Bye bye. Would you look at that? 
shorter time to go on rise than tower tear who would have thought not me now it's time for dinner got about 15 minutes i'm hungry can't wait to try this brand new menu i mean i think it launched a couple weeks ago i think it was like early april so we missed it by a couple days it is very empty here tonight look at that that's crazy it's a perfect time to come here right now I feel like we always have those days where I get to find those somehow. Good thing we don't have to walk too far. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Great morning, actually. I don't know, comment down below also when you guys watch the videos. I think a lot of you guys rope drop them. Okay. Let's go to the area where probably nobody is. Look at this. Screenshot that if you want. All right, so Mama Melrose's doesn't, wow, it's so empty. Doesn't really have the greatest of reviews, so I'm actually kind of pumped to try this new food for sure. But I feel a lot of people are really rough on their reviews, but every time I've gotten, the food's been pretty good. And you know what, ironically, for it like not being a great restaurant, it's like the only restaurant that you can't get a reservation for tonight. So maybe with this food chain, it's, or food change is actually pretty good right now. Well, as we're walking to Mama Mel Rose's, might as well tell you a little bit about the story. It's very simple. A young girl from a, a small village moved to Hollywood to become a star. However, she soon found out that cooking was her true calling and she recreated, recreated her papa's secret recipes from her starving actor friends. So she opened a restaurant in a vacant back lot as we're about to see here that was once used to store movie equipment, which you can kind of see over there. I mean, that's not the building, it's actually over here, but there is movie equipment. You guys get what I'm saying. And it soon became a very popular, and recently they changed their menu. So let's go experience Mama Mel Rose's here, tucked in the corner at Hollywood Studios. Doesn't seem like too many people are out here waiting, which is a good sign. My table is gonna be ready early. It's right at the exit of Muppet Vision 3D. And right below the magic shop, too. See, well, if only we could go see the magic shop up there. It smells good. I'm gonna get a lot, actually. I'm gonna try more than one. Eerie. Eerily empty. Actually, if you go over here, that's the backstage of Galaxy's Edge and cast member parking. Room for expansion. Room for expansion, I'll tell you that. All right, let's check on in. I'm gonna do it on, I was gonna do it on the phone, but I'd rather just do it at the desk here. Wow, this is actually a booth that I've gotten before. <laughs> They're like, oh, I was like, I got this before. They're like, oh, this is where celebrities dine. That's the theming, I thought it was funny. Hey, it's <laughs> some guy over there. All right, we're gonna do a little tour here after, but here's kind of like the whole brand new menu. Everything is pretty much new here on the appetizer, I think the only thing that's not is the Caesar salad and then the minestrone soup as far as the appetizers go. And on the entrees, everything is practically new besides the oven baked chicken in the top right and um, this mushroom herbed cauliflower, whatever that is, that is not new, the New York strip and then the, sh the selection of fresh fish but everything else is brand spanking new. I'm gonna get some appetizers and I'm also gonna get, um, I think two entrees. Gotta, gotta divulge a little bit. I didn't really eat too much. And they also have desserts that are new, but we don't have that menu quite yet. Here's kind of a quick look at the place. It's beautiful. I'm actually capturing it really nice here because of my new camera in 4K. I'm tucked away in that corner over there. Here's the line where all the food comes on out. And then the front is gonna be right over here. It's definitely a very cool restaurant at that, where it's still got that old Disney extra theming, you know? So cool. And then here's we are. Oh my gosh, Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit is actually in this park, if you didn't know. And then Tom and Jerry, we're in a cool corner. Since we are one of like the last tables to uh, be served this evening, I think they stopped taking reservations, what, at 8.45 or 8.30? I know they close at nine, so maybe it's nine? I don't know. I'll probably have hopefully an empty restaurant here. 
to kind of go around because I've never been really able to document it because there's just been so many people here. But as you guys know, I'm starting to do like that late time dining so we can be able to do that. I still want to close down a restaurant. Um, definitely not going to be here tonight because I still see some people getting sat here. But I actually did order two appetizers, two entrees, and some to-go boxes because, you know, we got to double dip tonight. We got to get some things that I think are going to be good. From my past experiences in here, it's been pretty loud, but it's not really too packed, so it's actually kind of quite enjoyable. It kind of feels more like fine dining that you would find at the Brown Derby. Ironically, it's been louder inside the Brown Derby than it is in here, so this is kind of nice. If this food is good, this could be a new little hidden gem. Don't know long, don't long, 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 long. I don't know how long it's going to be here for, because I really feel like this area might get announced to change something if they do an expansion in Hollywood Studios. We'll see. But I'm gonna find out if this food is good. This place has really emptied out tonight. There's like four sections though. This is kind of like the cool area in my opinion. Again, as you can tell too, it looks like a sound stage where they did used to store the equipment. That's kind of the story of Alma Melrose's as well. All right, for starters here, I decided to get the mushroom artichoke cheese dip. Goat cheese, tomatoes, toasted croissanti. What is that? And then I also got the fried mozzarella sticks. Gotta find some good mozzarella sticks here on a Walt Disney World property. Dude, that looks so good. Look at that, y'all. Okay, don't mind if I do here. Let's try this dip. Although they give you like one, two, three, four, five six seven pieces of bread i feel like we're gonna need more bread you know maybe not actually that is old cheese on top let me try it without the cheese can't believe i actually just said that that is quite good that will do and the cheese will only make it better it's really hot probably just burn the roof of my mouth for a good solid week here now this is gonna be a cheese bowl here. Both appetizers have something to do with cheese. Chips are a little stale. However, this is in the spot. We got some thick mozzarella sticks as well. The dip was just okay. It didn't really, like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I don't know if I recommend getting the dip, but if you wanna try it, go for it. Mm. This is the better mozzarella stick than I've had at Disney parks. I think this is actually better than the dip. Not as warm as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of like room temperature, a little bit warmer than room temperature. Wish these were a little bit warmer, but it will do. It will do, and it will be good for leftovers as well. In my opinion, the mozzarella stick is is the winner here. The cheese dip was still, the dip was good, but these are solid mozzarella sticks. I just wish they are a little bit warmer. I actually really wanna eat another mozzarella stick but I am gonna bring them home. So definitely get the mozzarella sticks. I mean, I have two entrees coming and then probably a dessert, so probably shouldn't, right? Probably shouldn't. And these will be good, good warmed up in the toaster oven. Entrees have arrived. I got two. Like I said, I got two of each. We got the prosciutto and honey pizza, which I heard is amazing. Now tonight, it looks a little bit different from what it ordinarily looks like. They ran out of the dough, so it's a little bit smaller portion size from what you guys are gonna get. And they said it's a little bit spicy, so we'll see how that is. And then I also decided to get the braised pork, which anything in pork, and I'm gonna obviously divulge in creamy polenta roasted onions, sweet peppers, and lemon in there as well. Well, all I gotta say is these both look so good. I think I'm gonna divulge in this first because that is ginormous. I, I didn't know what it was gonna look like, but here it is. This kind of reminds me of, I, I know some of you guys don't like when I say this, but it reminds me of cruise ship food like this because you see that on a cruise ship all the time. This is probably gonna be better though, but I'm excited for this. It's kind of funny that they offer pizza here because obviously there's Pizza Rizzo right around the corner. I mean, they sat us pretty fast. But this is going to be better just by looking at it. Look at this. That is good. I don't hear, I don't feel any spice right now at the moment. Now, you're not going to like this if you don't like a lot of meat. Because it has a lot of meat flavor. I'm waiting for that honey. It doesn't really have a honey flavor at all. It's more just like meat. This will do. Do I have another slice? I want another slice. But I gotta try this other dish first. This is good. Doesn't beat Napoli's, Naples, Nap Napoli, in Epcot. Still a good offering. I think it was $22. 
And it's usually bigger than this. This is already a big portion size for the different dough. Let's try this guy. I don't know how to eat it. I feel like some people might just pick it up right and do it, but oh, there's peas under here. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna use a fork and knife. I'm 30 years old, right? Can't do that anymore. And it just peels off anyways. Let's get some of the polenta down here. Mix it on up. Mmm, this is good. First bite, this one's better than our pizza. Or flatbread. I don't mind this. Kind of hard to decide which one is better. I'm also very hungry, so keep that in mind too. I hate to say it, I think I like this more than the pizza, even though I wanted another piece. This has just got like a really nice flavor to it. And I know just by judging at this plate, cause like some people won't just order it based on how this looks. Doesn't the Brown Derby have polenta? I'm pretty sure they do. This polenta is not like, it's a little bit sticky. It's not the best polenta I've had at Disney. Keep in mind, obviously, too, it's not like a signature dining like you have the Brown Derby. I think the Brown Derby has the polenta. This is polenta, right? It is polenta, and they say it's creamy polenta. It's not really creamy. It kind of clumps together, so it's not creamy at all. I wonder how picky eaters would feel, though. Picky eaters maybe go for this, but this just tastes more like meat than anything because it does have a lot on here, you know? Again, just a lot of ham taste. I just wish there was more of a honey taste. And I don't really have much red pepper flakes on here at all. I don't have a kick. Two solid dishes though. And we still need to get dessert. Honestly, y'all, I, I can't pick a favorite. I know they're totally different dishes, you know? But they're both they're both solid, you know? It's not gonna be the best food you've ever had. It's gonna be kind of right there in the middle. It's not like horrendous food, so this is an option. If you wanna try it, come try it. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys go to Disney all the time or you try to, and you want to try different things, it's a new menu. I'll take it. And it's going to be my leftover food for tomorrow. Quick look at the dessert menu. I'm going to get that focus. There we go. I actually already got the cream tart. The chocolate cake and the mousse tart are the only new options here on the menu. Everything else has been on the menu. But here's a look at that cream tart. I had to try this. And we got the blackberry cream pot as well. Let's take a dig in here. It's been a quick service. Again, it's it's more of a quicker service. Again, not not signature. Let's give it a go. Ooh, look at that. It is a tart after all. I gotta get in the middle, right? I don't really like the edges of tarts. Let's give it a whirl. Oh! Almond. It's very almondy. I like this. Not really like overly sugary. It's not like sweet at all. It's not sweet at all. I've been looking for a dessert like this forever. It's the frangipan, or however you pronounce that. This is kind of my kind of dessert, very light. I dig it, I have a feeling this is gonna be for everybody though. Blackberry, this is unbelievable. <laughs> it's been a good meal. Well, food is done, but as promised, there's only one section that is actually all cleared out, and it's this one right here. Just kind of wanted to show you what's all on the wall here. I feel like there's just a lot of detail in this restaurant that you don't really see at, you know, a lot of these new restaurants that are popping up around Walt Disney World property. So it's really cool to just come on in here and take a look. It's a fun environment. Actually, the back end of the restaurant cleared up too. It's a cool vibe. As we're heading on out, there is nobody in the lobby as they've closed it down, so it's a good opportunity to film. I also asked the cast members if they're okay to be in the video, and they said, yeah. Actually, he watches the video, so I forgot his name. Brian, shout out to Brian. Let's see if I can focus this. That is so cool. This is the rain jacket that was in the great movie ride, and now it's in here. How neat. It's also right by the hidden Mickey. Shout out to Brian, he's the one who showed us this. And there's also another Hidden Mickey over here too. The dog. See it? Hidden Mickey. So come on in here and see those if you want. This is Brian, guys. If you see him, make sure you, you give him love. He's great. Thank you. Have a good see you night. next time. Take care. Right, see you, bud. Bye. Great, great experience. Staff was awesome. Look at how empty it is. You know, we're pretty much going to be leaving when no one's here. Now here's the thing, the food isn't the greatest, it's just like in the middle. It's definitely been upgraded, like I, I'm, I was just hungry too, keep that in mind, but I think it was fine. And I'm gonna eat this tomorrow for lunch. So if you guys have 
wrote off Mama Mel Rose's, give it, give it another shot. Just go there and try it. You know, especially if you've been here for a while and you've had everything else, give it a go. It's not that bad of an option anymore. Out we go. Park has been closed for 30 minutes now. It's 9.30 as we're walking on out. Ooh, I think we're gonna sign off in this area. So empty. I had a good night. I had a good dinner. Today was perfect. I hope you guys had or have a good day depending when you watch this video. And uh, thanks for being here each and every single day. We got on two rides. Two rides about I guess like what an average of a 40 minute wait. Technically 50 minutes to experience tower and then 40 or 35 to get off and wait on rise which was crazy. I'm not in focus here just realized. Sorry about that. But with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Staycation Sunday returns on Sunday with a very cool one that we actually haven't experienced quite yet. So see you tomorrow and make sure you guys tune in on Sunday. We got a big one.